Alarms are an essential part of maintaining GOTs. This is because alarms inform us of various device states. There are two main types of alarms. One type is user alarms. The other type is system alarms. PLCs and other devices detect system errors. However, normal PLCs are installed in cabinets and are not visible from a distance. GOTs can be linked with other devices so that alarm trigger events can be seen from outside the cabinets. User alarms display alarm messages configured by users beforehand when a particular device alarm is triggered. As mentioned, the other type of alarm is system alarms. These alarms are configured at the factory to display GOT device error codes and related error messages. Check for system alarms when the device does not operate properly, such as when a GOT screen does not appear correctly, for example. I will now describe the procedure to check for system alarms. Display the utility screen. From the Utility main menu, touch Maintenance, and then System Alarm. Any currently active system alarms will appear here. For this alarm, the error code is 402, and the error message is Communication Timeout. The troubleshooting procedure is described in the included documentation. Let's take a look at this now. As you can see, possible troubleshooting for the 402 error code is cable disconnected. So let's check the cable connecting the GOT and PLC. The cable was not connected correctly, which triggered the alarm. Reconnect the cable correctly. The cause of the error has been resolved. Press the Reset button on the System Alarm screen to reset the system alarm. A note of caution here. If the cause of the system alarm is not resolved, pressing the Reset button will not clear the alarm from the GOT system alarm display. Double check that the error has cleared.